Check it out. <laughs> the girls are doing their goofy looking dance routine again. <laughs> Pretty goofy, right, Thomas? <laughs> You're one to talk. Yeah. yeah. Hey, teacher! They were dancing up there the whole time you were out. I told you before, I don't want you dancing during class time. But teacher, we can't help it. It's like in our blood. Then maybe you should put on a show in your free time instead of disturbing everyone while they're working. The teacher's right. We should do something. Like what? What about a dance contest? They always have dance contests at prep schools. Yeah, a real dance contest. Quiet back there. <sighs> no, you can't play. In this game, you can't be more than three. Hey, look, there's Thomas from dance class. Hey, Mr. Dance Machine, are you coming tomorrow? We've been trying out some cool new moves. Drop by the empty lot at the factory later if you want to, and we can work on them together. You know them? Sure, we're in the same dance class. You go to dance class? What a wuss. You said it. Dancing is for wimps. What are you talking about? It's fun. Then why don't you go join your wussy pals, Mr. Dance Machine? <laughs> okay, I will. It'll be way more fun than hanging around with you two. Listen up. If we're gonna make a poster, we've gotta come up with something that will grab people's attention. Something cool that really makes people wanna compete. Free bubble gum? Tess, come on. At real dance contests, they always have a live band. Johnson! With I'm a Gorilla? They'll never come. What do you mean? We're their fans. It can't hurt to ask. Okay, how does this sound? Dear Johnson, we're planning a dance contest. A cool contest for cool people. No nerds allowed. It'd be totally amazing if you could come and play. Your three biggest fans, Linda, Mimi, and Tess. P.S. We think you're the best band in the whole wide world. They can't say no to us now. There's just one more thing we have to do. Oh, yeah. Mwah. Um, I actually meant we need a sponsor. Mr. Johnson! Mr. Johnson, it's here! Johnson's Chili, the world's hottest chili sauce. <laughs> yeah. Now I just have to come up with a good sales gimmick. Here, have a taste. Mmm. <coughs> Great. Daddy, can you sponsor a dance contest? Sponsor? Absolutely not. Now, run off and play. Daddy has work to do. Please. We even wrote to a really famous rock band who might take part. Yeah? Who's that? The Pink Valors? Johnson. Johnson? That famous band from TV? Of course I'll sponsor your contest. You just leave everything to me. Yes! Yeah! Johnson's Chili. Hot sauce for cool music. No, no. No, Johnson's Hot Chili Rock Sauce, or... or... Uh, uh, it's impossible to play when there's no one to pass to. We can play Cowboys and Aliens instead. You've got to be three to play that, too. Okay, how about Hide and Seek? Don't you get it, Eric? Things just aren't the same when we're only two. Why do you think I call the gang the three friends? Because three rules. Jerry, get over here. We need an extra person. You mean I can play too? That's not what I said. Go stand and go. I'm afraid it's time to disband. Johnson is finished. You guys are selling even worse than Idaho Bell and her tainted trio. Come on, Buck. We're just going through a bit of a dry spell, that's all. Dry spell? You don't have a single gig lined up. Well, <laughs> actually, you do have one in Carsonville at a dance contest. A dance contest? No way. Carsonville is the only place in the whole world where you still have a few fans left. You do as you're told, see? This is your last chance. Hello, can I speak with Linda? Guess what? Johnson are coming, can you believe it? Wow, soon everybody will know about our contest. I just hope the right people come. I'm 
course they will. No one's going to miss Johnson. Hey, it's those good-looking dancers from the fifth grade. Who's the third one? He's amazing. What? It's Thomas. What a sense of rhythm. He's definitely got to be in the dance contest. Ugh, look at Thomas. Now he's trying to sweet talk the girls. Really? You'll come to our contest and you'll bring your friends? Uh, yeah. Sure. I mean, your cool friends. The ones who can dance. Not Frank and Eric. We can do without them. Ah, typical! The girls are almost in love with him just because he knows a few dance moves. Dancing is easy. I can teach you guys. Okay. You take one step to the right and uh, two steps to the left. Ah! This is impossible. Ah! What kind of stupid dance is this? Um, it's um called um the foxtrot. Foxtrot? What are you, stupid? If we're gonna do any dancing at all, it's gonna be break dancing. Well, anyone can do that. All you have to do is lie on your back and spin around a little. I know what we can do. We can... Jerry! We can pour a jar of ants down your pants. Then we'll really see some dancing. Come on, Eric. I'm tired of listening to Jerry's useless ideas. What's up? Want to learn some cool breakdance moves? What are you talking about? You guys couldn't even dance your way out of a paper bag. I think I hear your mommy calling. <laughs> well, well. Baby boy Frank. He says he can break dance. <laughs> I doubt it. He can't even walk properly. Don't talk that way to my friend. Come on, Frank. I'm tired of these geeks. Raspberry soda, please. Go ahead, taste it. It's on the house. <laughs> Help! Water! Quick! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Johnson. <laughs> All right, let's hear it for the dance contest. And guess what? We're gonna be the judges. But first, let's have a little warm up. One, two, three, four. Ooh, I'm a gorilla. I can do anything. Ooh, I'm a gorilla. With my dingle in the So, how'd I look? Was it cool? Hi. I heard you guys signed up for the contest. Good luck. Yeah, we can forget about it. Simon and Alex are too good. Oh, they're unbeatable. I think I know how we can stop them. One large soda, please. in their soda. <laughs> now they'll have more important things to worry about than their dance routine. This thing on? Hello. Uh, uh, and now it's time for the first contestants, Simon and Alex. I know. And now for the next contestants. The three friends. No! Wait! I took the wrong bottle. Ah! They're amazing. 
nothing. We don't stand a chance. Thomas and his nerdy friends are gonna win. And the winners of the dance contest with a groundbreaking, trend-setting new dance, the Three Friends! Could we have the Three Friends back up on stage, please? Um, the Three Friends have had to leave suddenly. Um, for another dance contest! Don't worry, you'll pull through. All you need is a bit of rest, and you'll be break dancing again in no time. Yeah, I'm gonna break Jerry in two and dance all over him. Hi, pea brains. It's time for the three friends and Jerry. Another bag of budget candy. Share it with your friends. <laughs> It'll be good for business. <laughs> the, the Vikings were the coolest warriors ever. They even had their own war god called Thor. Who cares about a bunch of old Vikings? They've been dead for thousands of years. Yeah, we're only interested in new stuff. Got it? But they weren't scared of anything. Hey, Mimi's coming, and she's got another bag of budget candy with her, too. <laughs> Hurry up! Before she gives it all away. Class, I have some great news for you about the school trip. We're going on a school trip to Candyland! Yay! Yeah! Shh! This may come as a disappointment to some of you, but we're actually going to the Birchwood. The Birchwood? But that's just a grimy patch of old trees. What's so great about going there? It's the site of our archaeological excavation now. Isn't that exciting? It will be. And we'll even have a real archaeologist with us, Dr. Norton. Fellow counselor, exciting times lie ahead for this town. We, of course, being the hot, favorite location for the next. Candyland, the amusement park where candy is king. And we'll build it on that useless plot of public land commonly referred to as the birch wood. What? You're going to level the birch wood to build that monstrosity? Can't you show a little bit of imagination for once? Candyland will bring in loads of tourists. Some might even visit your library afterwards. The last thing the library needs is a bunch of visitors with sticky fingers. Well, let's put it to a vote. All in favor of a tourist-attracting, job-creating site for Candyland in our town, raise your hands. And by a three-to-one majority, the town council says, Hello, Candyland! This is the Birchwood designated as the site for tomorrow's archaeological dig. And soon you'll meet Dr. Norton, who can tell you more. Who cares about old things anyhow? Wow, what a hunk. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting, but I had to finish off the preparations for tomorrow's exciting dig. Archaeology can be truly thrilling, as you will see if you examine this. An ordinary apple pip Yes, but one that's a thousand of years old. That very pip passed through a Viking's intestines before being expelled through his bowels. Bowels? You mean out of his... Ugh! Ugh, how gross! Shh! How interesting. Yes. Be here early. There's a lot of stuff to learn. We'll be here, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, Dr. Norton. <laughs> Typical girls. As soon as that doctor showed up, they went totally silly. Just because he's an archaeologist. Hey! If the girls think he's so cool, why don't we become archaeologists? Listen, Clodhopper, becoming one of those guys means studying! I'd rather pull my tongue out with my own hands than study. 
study. We don't need to study. We cheat. We find something old, bury it, and then pretend we dug it up. G Grandpa Bert Whistle, we want something old for an archaeological dig. Ooh. <laughs> These are old. Oh, not quite as old as we wanted. <coughs> or as freshly washed. Now this looks old. Wow! This must be a Roman helmet, guys. See? Can we borrow it for our dig? Oh, sure. I say, where are you digging? In the birch wood. Oh, you mean the old <coughs> burial ground. Whatever. Thanks, Grandpa Bert Whistle. We'll take good care of your helmet. Beats me what they want with an old dog bowl. I really need your support on this important issue. You've got to help me save the birch wood. Save the birch wood? They're planning to destroy it so they can fill their detestable candy land. That's terrible. What can we do? <laughs> You sure this is gonna work, Jerry? Of course! I... Hey! What's this? It's probably some worthless old piece of junk. Well, I'll use it as a marker, so as we know where to dig in the morning. Mr. Tom work is getting the dream book doc to notice us. Hey! Look, girls! I found something! Wow! That's so cool! In an archaeological sort of way. Ah, uh, but do you know what it is, Jerry? It looks to me like it's a genuine Roman helmet. Well, look at this. You made a find already. Well done, Jerry. It looks like some sort of helmet. Isn't this fascinating? Save our wood! Put your name on our list and join the fight against Roy and his candy land. You can't stand in the way of progress, you bunch of radicals. We're building a new future. <laughs> Don't give up. They haven't started building yet. Hurry up. We can get there before them if we take a shortcut. Give it to them. <laughs> Um, Dr. Norton, would you like to have one of our candy bars? Thanks. This is my girlfriend's favorite. Yes, we thought it would show how much we... Girlfriend? girlfriend? You've got a girlfriend? More of a fiancé, actually. Save our wood! Candyland L! We've got to stop them! We've got to stop them! We've got to stop them! What's going on? Candyland! Got, got to stop them! Got to stop them! They, they have no respect for nature! No, no, no delight in the countryside! The, the only thing <laughs> they love is making money! I didn't know people could build on an archaeological site. What did you say? Is, is this an archaeological site? Yes. Jerry found this helmet. Right. That's it. Sometimes you have to stand up for what you believe in. Construction must be stopped. I'm with you. It's just like my student days. We shall not be moved. We won't go. Heck no, no we, we won't go. go. Heck no, we, we won't go. go. Heck no, Clear the area, go. everyone. Heck we no, need to start go. building Heck the no, new Candyland. <gasps> Candyland! Here! In our town! Oh. On this very spot. So move out. Fantastic! I'd never have believed it, not even in my wildest dreams. We're going to have our very own candy land. Yeah. You can't build here. Thanks to Jerry finding this ancient artifact. Who knows? This could be a Roman burial site. So? Who cares? We got planning permission, so we'll build here anyway. <laughs> Excuse me, but this ancient artifact 
is neither ancient nor an artifact. And it's certainly not a helmet. What? No, it's an ordinary metal dog bowl. Ha! Jerry, what a dipstick! Thinking that was a Roman helmet? You wuss. It's not fair. You guys were in on it. Say, where did this doll come from? Oh, I dug that up over there. This is an ancient Norse idol, the god Thor. It proves that this land was actually an ancient Viking burial ground. A Viking burial ground? Incredible. I run the Thor Appreciation Society. See? So? Vikings or Romans, who cares? Let's start building. On this hallowed ground? Absolutely not. We'll just have to build on our second choice site, 150 miles away. What? Have I shown you my brand new Viking tattoo? Fascinating, isn't it? Oh, no, 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 no. There will be no budget candy outlet here. We'll build a first-rate Viking museum instead. Museum? Well, that'll only attract a bunch of half-dead culture freaks. Are you happy now, you old hippie activist? You said it, you big candy hog. So thanks to Jerry, we just dig up mud and rocks. And all we get is a boring old museum. But, but I didn't dig the 